This is a tutorial on how to use the average true range ATR indicator to measure the volatility of Bitcoin and other cryptos. We're going to explore what ATR is, how to add it to your trading chart, customize the settings and then interpret the data all in just a few minutes. So let's get started. ATR measures the volatility of an asset, that is the strength of a price movement or how fast and how much it moves in a given time range. It's important to remember that the actual true range indicator doesn't predict when future moves are going to come or even what direction they're going to be. Rather, it's just used to indicate the strength of that move. OK, so let's add the ATR indicator to our chart. We're going to use TradingView, but you'll normally find the ATR indicator on pretty much all trading platforms. Click on the indicators menu and type ATR into the search and select it and then you'll see the ATR chart pops up on the bottom of our screen below our price chart. So let's have a look at the settings which you can get to by clicking on this gear icon here. Uh, the main setting is the period and this is the number of preceding candlesticks being measured in whichever time frame you're using. So obviously if we're on the day chart and the period is 14 as it is here then it looks to get the average price over the last 14 days of uh, price action. A higher period will give us a smoother, longer-term view of volatility, and a lower period will give us a more detailed short-term view. There's also the smoothing options. The default is the relative moving average, the RMA of the true range, but you can set it to use SMA, EMA, or WMA if you want. But for most people, it's recommended to stick with the default settings but you can tweak these if you want to get a different overview of volatility. So here's how ATR works. It's quite simple, really. The higher the ATR value, the more volatile the market is. And a low ATR indicates a less volatile market. So if we look here, for example, between 2018 and most of 2020, Bitcoin didn't do a great deal. It sort of sat in this long range not very volatile at all. Um, there's a couple of little bumps here and there. And then suddenly we get to the back end of 2020 into 2021 and boom, uh, volatility goes absolutely crazy. And it's at this point that Bitcoin goes on to print some new all time highs. So remember, ATR doesn't correlate with the direction the price will go. Could be up or it could be down. Uh, you can see here that ATR goes up when there's this really massive price drop. And of course, what goes up must come down. So you can often say that, you know, when ATR shut up, that at some point it's going to pull back again and come back down and vice versa. Now, and this can be helpful to traders to play entry and exit points for their investments. And that's it, really. That's how to use the ATR indicator to make more informed trading decisions by better understanding the volatility in the market. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy trading.